What's good, YouTube? Welcome to the channel. My name is Marcellus. Today, we're going to figure out which one you should buy between the Xbox Series X version or the Xbox One version. Up close and personal, you obviously see that uh, they're both, they both say Xbox and you really won't know exactly uh, which one is for the Series X unless you turn it to the side. And there you go, Xbox One, Series X. Judging by the specs on the back, they're pretty much identical. Nothing totally different. Pretty much the exact same headset, but we're gonna actually figure out which one is actually better for the Series X or the Xbox One, or if they're initially the same thing. Let's go ahead and unbox these things. It's crazy, box in the box, right? Dang, it's almost like it's glued in. Alright, that to the side. These things are really, really expensive headsets. Oh, wow. What was that? Here we have the Xbox Series X version. This one comes with a beige interior and the gray stripes. Here we have the Xbox One version, which comes with a white interior and the gray stripes. Exact same thing. As we get the headsets out, See a up close and personal view of these headsets. The exact image, black and gold edition, with the black cotton cushion, cushion as well for the head support. Of course, this is the Series X one. This is more newer. This is the Xbox One version, and you know, obviously, I use this more. That's why, if you can tell, up in this area. This one's more plush and big, and this one is kind of flat. Alrighty, so as we open it up, Series X version first. You have your, your optical cord that hooks up to your battery station, charging station, whichever one you want to call it. This also comes with uh, pretty much the same exact thing. So of course, now we have the A50 mod kit. This mod kit is a, um, it's leather leather earmuffs and leather head support it also comes with a little piece of instructions which will show you exactly how to take these things off so here we go pop it off and these are magnetic those are magnetic as well the cotton and the leather so whoops wrong side Quick snap, quick snap. Take the top piece off, pop it. And we're gonna pop this right on in. And there you go, leather. You got the leather ear cushions and you also have your leather head support. Very soft, very sturdy. Seems like the leather is real leather Hope, hopefully it is real leather <laughs> and um, yes you also get the branding on top the only difference in the headset and both headsets is pretty much the same thing there's no difference so series x version compared to the xbox one version there's completely no difference if you already have the xbox one version you might as well just keep it because upgrading to the series x version you'll just be wasting your money not trying to throw shade at astro or anything like that but I've been using the Xbox One version with my Series X for, man, ever since I got the Series X last year. So, <laughs> and it works perfectly fine. So, of course, if you like the video, like, comment, and subscribe. 
let me know your decision on if you decide to stick with the Astros or if you upgrade it to a different pair of headsets that's a little more cheaper. Of course, both of these headsets are $299. So that's $300 bucks plus tax. You might be looking at $320, $350, depending on what country you're in and the taxes that they have in, their, in your country. You got the Series X Astros. You got the Xbox One Astros. With that being said, I'm Marcellus, and always believe.